Here we are on a 2020 Nissan Pathfinder push to start. We're doing a spare here. Um, the original takes the one with the little LED light on it, which FCC, I think, ends in, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it ends in TXN7. All right, well, I don't have one with the LED, so we are going to use the 16 to 19 Pathfinder Perox right here in place of it. As you can see, no LEDs on it. So, <clears throat> program Prox. All right, we'll hit lock. Heard the lock button work. Yes, it's going to delete. Security light's solid. You hear the dash beep here in a sec. There it goes. All right, we're going to take our new, or we're going to take our existing Prox. We'll just hold that on. So we're on, okay. So we're going to hit okay. Go ahead and turn it off. It's off. All right, now we're going to take our old Prox, push it to the start button, release it. You should see our security light flashing five times there. All right, it's out. All right, we'll go ahead and shut it off. Yes, we want to do another key. Okay, so we're going to use the old style Prox. See our security light flashing five times there. Okay, hit OK. Shut the ignition off. Hit OK. No, we don't want to do any more. First one. We'll hear a beep. Or a few. That's it. Hit OK. Shut the ignition off. All right, procedure complete. Obviously, it'll start. Got no errors on the dash using the old key or anything like that. This is the old, this is our new key, old style. Oh, probably helps if the battery's charged. But as you can see, it does start it. So, you know, you do get them from your suppliers every once in a while and they don't have a fresh battery in them. It is what it is. This one was actually bought in December. And, oh, there it goes. Let's see. Well, it's got a dead battery, but it does work. All right, we got a new battery for this real quick. See our hazards lighting up. 